Hello Taurus, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Ciro? Yep, Ciro Marchetti. There is a companion book by Barbara Moore. I don't use it, but it is there in case you want that information. Uh, it's a 2004 publication, Llewellyn. There might be another reprinting since then, I don't know. But there's the information in case you would like it. Supportive Oracle Cards. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed uh, There's a bunch of information for her, too. She has a website. It's ColetteBaronReed.com. Uh, there's some more information there if you want to freeze frame and search any of that out that works for you. A little bit more information only because I saw this other website here. Um, what is it? Autumn Goddess dot deviantart.com if it focuses there we go and there's more information there if you want to freeze frame there this is a 2009 printing I don't know if it's printed again since but if you want that information enjoy that information all right what do we have for Taurus you got some really strong cards coming in where are we going with this? Where, what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing here? All right, something, um, I'm not. It's time to make a new plan. Time to make a new plan. You've got the Eight of Swords. This is kind of strong. All right, you know, I, I'm definitely an intuitive reader. I just got to go with what I get. I feel like we're coming to a point where it's kind of like, maybe we need to choose a different direction. Sometimes you just got to know when to give up. Which, I, I'm like, that's not like a Taurus thing. Taurus is like, well, I, I didn't start this to give up. I, I, I respect that. But something here is just like, it's kind of like, you know, if you have, if you're, if you have four poles to, to a barn, like there's four main poles, and like you got, <laughs> you got two and a half left. <laughs> like you got two and a half left one's gone one's starting to fail it's kind of like it's time to like realize that maybe it's time to like bring this situation like start to deconstruct the situation safely so you can rebuild or just move on um because i feel like that's where we are i know that's hard something like i feel like it's time to shut it down it's weird. I mean, I don't want to be like that doom and gloom. I think what the, this, the reading is kind of like, you already know this is coming. You don't like it. You don't like it. But they're saying there's a lot of signs around you that, you know, it's kind of like this situation is failing. Like we got four poles for the bar to a barn and two and a half for all, you know, it, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. And you know it. I feel like they're saying you know this. But you're not one to give up, and it's kind of like, well, what do I need to do to rebuild this? What do I need to do to rebuild that? I feel like that's the energy that you are emulating if this is hitting with you. I mean, it's a general read, granted. And you're like, what do I need to do to fix this? What do I need to do to fix that? But there's so many factors working against you, and it's like you're fighting this battle alone. If you had community support, whatever that means for you, this could go better, but that's not seeming to happen here. Because I'm getting it's it's not it's not going that way. Um, it's one of those times where you know you have a lot of energy, you do a lot of good, but we need to kind of take that energy and apply it somewhere where you're effective and you can build from it, and not keep putting your energy into something that's just not serving you or anybody else at this point. Um, I do respect that, like, I don't like this idea. I feel like if this, for the people this is going to hit with, I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that idea of just not fighting to get it done. 
But at the same time, if this is really hitting, you're starting to really look at this kind of like, I've been fighting uphill for how long and I'm not getting anywhere. So at what point do I realize, you know, I got, I got to stop trying to fight up this direction, regroup and maybe go into something else. Maybe this is just not the hill for me. And it's, I don't like the idea of giving up. It, it aggravates me. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I'm just kind of like, I don't set in, I don't set out to get a goal attained just to give up. I, I see it through to fruition. And that's what Taurus does. Like we, I choose my direction. I choose it carefully. And then I, I fight through until I finally get what I want. And that's how you get what you want. You don't give up. But whatever this is, it's kind of like, it's just like one thing goes against you. Then the next thing is like, you're fighting this alone. It just, it's so much. It's just overwhelming. Um, now, none of these cards, okay. I don't want to be, I don't, I, okay. It's a general read, take it with a grain of salt, but the web, the web, I don't, I hate this card right now. It says divine intelligence cause and effect. Some, like, I'm getting like, I'm getting like, people are talking and I don't like it. Something's, something's going on here. I almost feel like somebody's using your own situation against you. I don't like it. it's bothering me. Kind of like, they're, they're banking on you being distracted and keep trying. It's almost like they see that you keep trying to fix that barn with the four poles and like it's failing. But they keep, they're like, well, that's okay. The Taurus is caught up with that, so we don't have to worry about them. So just keep keep them. It's like almost like somebody's messing with you, kind of like, oh, keep going, Taurus. Keep trying, Taurus. And then they're going off and doing what they want because you're, you're caught up in that. So you don't really see what's going on with them. Somebody, I don't like this. It's annoying me. Because somebody, it's manipulative. Something manipulative. Like, they try to keep you going on the failing project because it distracts you away from them. And there's something else, if you knew what was going on, you'd be like, hold on, we're not doing that. But that's how they're distracting you. They're like, keep your focus over there, Taurus. Keep your focus over there. And you don't see what they're doing. When you stop focusing on this situation that's just not working, because it's taking up a lot of your resources, because you're really fighting to make it work. And it's just, it's not going to work. When you start regrouping and pull back, I mean, I know it's hard. It's the, you got the Ten of Swords, which is, I saw this in the beginning and like, uh, there's, it's, it's just one of those cards that's very difficult to find a bright version, a very joyful version of that. I mean, I've, I'm sure I could find one. I'm sure I've done it, but I'm not seeing it right now. Um, well, all right, I say that, and they're like, well, sometimes you have to let something fail so something, so, so a different success can come in. Sometimes one thing has to fail so success can happen somewhere else. If you accept this and let this go, whatever this is, which I know that's not easy. That's not a little feat. I get you that. Like, Taurus does not start stuff just to give up. I give you that. But it's being used against you. It's it, Somebody's using it as a distraction to get what they want. And they're like, as you're working on the ruins of something failing, they're off going and getting something else. Um, definitely I'm an intuitive reader, but I'm getting like this energy, like something else is going on around here. Um, you're not seeing what's really going on around you. There's another problem around you that you're not seeing. And it takes a lot for you to accept this and move on from it. But this, as soon as you start doing that, because you're not going to just drop it cold turkey or, you know, you're not just going to drop it like a hot rock. I give you that. When you start realigning your focus, and that's all it's going to take is like you just start like, all right, maybe I need to shut this down. Maybe I need to think about deconstructing this barn. You know, maybe I, maybe I need, like, I feel like that's how this starts. I just consider it. Maybe I need to. Maybe I should. And then I start looking around at other things like who can help me deconstruct this. All of a sudden, I think you're going to see it. You're going to be like, wait, what's that bull? What's that? What the hell's that? Like, I feel like I'm looking around, like, looking for people to help me deconstruct the barn because I'm like, maybe I should. Maybe I need some other input. Maybe I need some other opinions. And then I look around and I'm like, wait, what? what's that? What's going on over there? What, what are you doing? Like, I feel like I'm noticing, like, somebody else is, like, doing something. I'm like, wait, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's like... it. 
I see it. Like, I feel like you're going to see it. You start changing your direction. You start considering, maybe I need to shut this down. Maybe I need to deconstruct this and just take the assets out of it that I can and just accept that that's not going to happen. Once I start looking around, I feel like you're going to see it. Like, what is that? What are you doing? Like, somebody else is doing something and I don't like it. I'm getting that energy too. And that's where I start regaining strength. That's where I start getting things going the direction I want them to. Somebody's messing with you. There's an energy around you that somebody's playing something against you. They are. And once you see it, literally, you're going to have to start considering, I feel like just when you start considering shutting this thing down, you see what's going on over here, that realigns everything for you. And then your strength comes back in the sense of like, it's going, it's like the strength is paying off the way you need it to. It's not being used against you. It's like, I feel like it's being used against you at the moment until you see this and you're like, wait, what's that? No, no, we're not doing that. Because then things, new, new choices come in and then somebody, somebody like, somebody loses whatever they were doing. Whatever somebody was playing here, whatever somebody thought that they were going to get out of this situation, once you see what's going on, this earth energy comes in with like a new choice is being made. You're like, hold on. No, 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 no. I don't care how long you've been doing that. That's stopping today. And I feel like that's, I'm like not happy. I'm feeling that energy like, you know that's not right. I feel like I'm looking at somebody and I'm telling them, you know that's not right. That stops today. And then we're reconstituting things. And somebody's quite upset about it because they shouldn't have been doing whatever they were doing to begin with. When you shut this down, it's noticeable. I don't, you're not like, you're not getting on the blowhorn and like announcing it to everybody in town. Like so-and-so was doing this, blah, 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 blah. You're not, that's not what's happening. Because I don't see that happen. But I feel like when you shut that down, like people are like, wait, what was going on? Who was doing what? Other people are noticing. There's going to be a hubbub about it. We're just going to call it a hubbub. People, there's, people are not happy. Other people are going to be like, wait, who was doing what? Wait, what? Like, I feel other people are coming in and they're not happy. You're not, I don't see you telling like the whole world, but I feel like when this stops and you realign it, it's noticeable. People, other people are, other people are going to be upset. Um, other people are going to be upset. There's a weird energy coming in. I feel like things are going to reconstitute for you. You're in this weird, weird energy of like, okay, I got to shut down this whole barn situation. Uh, so you're dealing with that, but then you're like, I got to keep my eye on that, obviously, because so-and-so is not doing what they're supposed to. So let me keep my eye on that. You, f It feels like I'm in this weird kind of like quasi shutting something down, building something up. It, like it's like I'm bringing that one down and bringing one up at the same time. Your energy is divided. I don't feel like this is normally ideal for Taurus. Let me know below if I'm off on that. I don't feel like this is ideal. Kind of like when I feel Taurus energy, it's kind of like we do, we focus most of our most of our energy on one thing and we do it and we do it right. Like my grandmother kind of taught me that. Like do what you're doing and do it right. Focus on what you're doing and do it right. But with your energy, like pulled in two different directions, one shutting down, one's building up. I don't feel like this is, I don't feel like I like this. Like, cause I feel like I'm doing two major things. I feel like I'm doing two major things. It's like trying to drive a car and read at the same time. It's like, I don't really like that idea. Like, you know, it's kind of like, all right, wait a minute. How are we doing this? Okay. We're going to do this, the audible book. Okay, that's so that I'm listening and I'm paying attention to this book and I'm supposed to pay attention to where I'm driving and where I'm going at the same time. And I feel like you're successfully doing these two things at the same time. It's kind of like, okay, we have the audible book going on and I need to like absorb that information and think about it, but I also have to like pay attention to where I'm going and make sure I, you know, notice the signs so I can move and go where I need to go as I'm driving somewhere. It's kind of like, I don't like this. Usually I focus on one thing at a time. And it's like the, the directions are complicated, so I have to make sure I stay, you know, I turn here, I turn there, I go up this ramp, go down that ramp. So, but I also have to absorb this information from this Audible book. Not ideal, not a fan of this, got to do it, going to do it. So, you're doing it. Um, but it seem, feels like there's this period of like, I'm not happy. I think that's the Desert Prince, kind of like two things have to be going at the same time. One's shutting down, one's building up. It's not going to last forever. 
this comes in again. Again? I don't know. I'm getting collective good on this. You are realigning a lot of things for other people. A lot of people are going to like get a lot of benefit from this, not just you. Um, it doesn't last forever. I do feel like there's support here for you, by the way. So we're going to use the same analogy. Because I feel like I'm driving somewhere where I'm not totally familiar with the area. That's how I'm getting this, like, when we're driving and I'm following these directions going all over the place. And I'm, I have to absorb this information from the Audible book at the same time. I'm like, oh, for the love of Pete. I have to do these at the same time, so I'm just going to have to. But the support I'm feeling is like you have other people in the car with you. And you have certain people that like... You're like, all right, everybody, we, we need to do this together. Um, you're the one driving the car, but you're like, keep an eye open. We're all like looking out for the, the, the signs to say where we turn. So we're all keeping an eye on the road to make sure we don't miss any turns. But at the same time, people are also um, absorbing the information at the same time and taking notes. So it's kind of like, all right, I'm in the front seat. Obviously, I'm driving. That's you, the Taurus. So me and the other person in the front seat here are going to like focus mainly on the driving aspect, but we definitely need to know what's being said on this Audible book because we have to absorb this information. We're going to do you know, 75% the driving, but we definitely have to absorb what we can of the information. This is not ideal for me, but this is what has to happen. The people in the back seat... You guys need to take the best notes you can. And you gotta like what we're gonna do is you're gonna absorb as much as you can, keep an eye on the road too, just in case we miss something. And when we get there, you know, we'll have all gotten there, but we're gonna need you to, you know, reiterate the notes to make sure we all got the basic points that we can. This is not ideal for me, is what I'm getting. It's not ideal, but we're gonna have to like pull our resources. Like you other people who are also listening to this audible book take good notes and then we'll just like catch up at the end just before we get there to make sure we have absorbed as much information as we can to try to be on point with this. Because I do feel like you have support. It does seem complicated, does not seem ideal. But I do also with the Gaia's Garden see success here. You'll make this work. I, I feel like I'm not... Like it's not lasting forever, by the way. You're shutting one down. When it's shut down, it's done. The other one will be up here going. It'll be fine. I don't like it while it's happening, but you will be successful. So it, and it's not going to last too, too long. Maybe longer than you care for, but it won't last too, too long. You do have success there. I feel like what they're saying is like, realize it's not going to be ideal. Just roll, Just keep going with it, which is Taurus is good for getting it done. So one goes down, one goes up. I'm hating it. I feel like you're actually really hating it, quite frankly, while it's going on. But you'll get through it. You will have success. It won't last forever. The energy is like, I'm not happy about it. But it's weird because I realize when you get to the other end, you will have success. You'll be enjoying that success. You'll still look back on that like I... I don't see you ever being a fan of it. Even though it works out successfully, I still see me looking back going, ugh, that, ugh. <laughs> like, I'm not happy. Even though you got the success at the end, I'm still not going to look back and be happy with it. I don't say about that. Like, I think the way it happened, I'm just not comfortable with the way it happened. So, I don't know what that value is there, but whatever that means, hopefully that makes sense. All right. I'm going to shut that down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below as well. Same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.